Oh, all right, Gary, what are we playing this week? Well, Cole, we live in a big old world. We do. You know? It is hard to understand the scale of the world. Yes. Uh, there are more people and more countries, and we don't know j- jack shit. Like, people can feel worldly, mm-hmm. and that's great. But I guarantee you could be like, oh, you know, what's the third most popular indie band out of Brazil? And you don't know, unless you're from there. Right. You know, like, we're very Americentric. Uh, a lot of culture is, mm-hmm. you know, just across the world because of weird cultural colonization. Mm-hmm. All these things. So a lot of video games uh, are based on places. They are, you know? yes. Yeah. So uh, I've gotten you uh, right here, this Nerf gun here. Uh, I've modified it to fire real bullets. <laughs> and the, uh, I think that's what took down Shinzo Abe. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, well, yeah, where do you think I got it, man? Um, <laughs> the, uh, we have much to discuss. Don't arrest me. That's a joke, anybody. Uh, yeah. Um, the, uh, G- Gary is not in the doohickey trafficking business. <laughs> no, I don't like regular guns, let alone doohickeys. I'm not a gun gun it's not my tempo um so i've got a globe here all right uh and we're gonna do uh you know point blank that, that fun arcade game yeah I'm, I'm gonna throw a bunch of globes up you know up in the air spinning and you're gonna shoot them and we're gonna see what you shoot okay all right uh yeah. you're aware that the the, the with bullet- the blaster <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're aware that the bullet's gonna go through both both sides right so like if i oh. shoot you know uh, well, if you make a hole in a with a gun with a desktop globe, mm-hmm. exit wound through a foreign nation, mm-hmm. showing the one home of the one this was written for. Yeah. No, I understand. Okay. But uh, but you know, we're just gonna go for the entry wound. All right. Okay. Forensics. All right. Yeah. Let me uh, let me let, let me uh, cock this bad boy. Uh, okay. It's a Nerf gun. You don't cock it. <laughs> but it fires real bullets. Also, Nerf guns yeah. do cock. <laughs> Not this one. Okay. All right. So go ahead and throw. Okay. Hup. Oh, yeah. Uh, direct hit. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, direct hit. Oh, man. Fucking Burbank. California, Burbank? Burbank. Yeah. Burbank. If only there was a song or a video game about California. Yeah. Um. No, I I was really hoping to hit Glendale. Glendale. Sadly, no. But it turns out all of those things fall under the banner of Californication. Okay. My name is Gary Butterfield. My name is Cole Ross. And welcome to Addict Suffering. Ah! <laughs> That's, you, you got me. You, you spooked yep. me. There's uh, the intro. Yeah. Uh, this is an episode where we're going to specifically torture Red Hot Chili Peppers fans again. We've had yep. a few that have kind of slouched into this. But we're talking about, uh, this is an itch. This is an itchio that we're talking about. Uh, it is a game called Californication that, uh, t- t- that that takes the question, why has nobody made the actual video games from the Californication video released back in mm-hmm. uh, 1999, 2000. Uh, like, why, why, why has nobody made that? And then, and then, some, and then someone did. Um, uh, this uh, this uh, indie developer, uh, Mikel Camps Orteza, uh, did this. Yes. Seven little uh, mini games all pulled from that particular music video. Yeah. And, and this is one of those things where for a portion of the audience, this won't mean anything. Like, I, I want to challenge the idea that the Californication music video is universal, <laughs> right? It is a thing where I've seen it before. Okay. You know, but the idea of like, oh man, why don't they make that game? I've had that for other things. Mm-hmm. I wanted them to make the game in big. Yeah. You know, we talked about that before, but I, I didn't have, I wasn't watching MTV during Californication times. So know? that is the difference. I Yeah. It's an was. age thing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, is, uh, is, is, is a little bit of the thing. And I've been getting real nostalgic for, uh, MTV times generally sure. have been, but like this big, uh, resurgence of adult swim, uh, kind mm-hmm. of, uh, kind of nostalgia around the 30th anniversary of space ghost. I just found out Andy Merrill lives not very far from me. The, the voice oh, of wow. Brack. Yeah. yeah. Um, sad story on that guy. Um, but, uh, you know, I've got, I figured we could fall back into nostalgia around that, but like, 
I don't know. I've talked about this. Well, Californication was the first uh, album that I bought with my own money. Like went to a okay. store specifically to get, went to uh, Circuit City because uh, I liked this video and also a girl I had a crush on liked liked uh, the, the, liked those her, songs. So I you know the peps. yeah I liked the peps. Um, yeah. So you know I was doing some studying. But yeah, yeah. Uh, this video looms large in my mind a because it has this real Dreamcast aesthetic. Um, and, I uh, like it is one of the videos that when I sat down in the morning or after school watching, uh, MTV or VH1, uh, you know, just blocks of videos. I was just hoping that, you know, every time yeah. a new video came up, it was a slot machine and sometimes it would pay out with this or the learn to fly video. <laughs> yeah. That, that's a very universal yes. thing, I think. Yeah. And if you're, if, you know, I had that. And then even before I had that, I had that for the radio. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, you know, like as, as a kind of thing back when before we could control what kind of music we listened to, mm-hmm. you know, uh, the before times, yeah, you know. and, and the video for the time, like this is a good idea for a video. Oh yeah, like make a bunch of little demo things of the Red Hot Chili Peppers doing Dreamcast games. Yeah, and it's a really good idea for a video game. Yes, uh, I, I this is very I find this really charming. Yes, <laughs> uh, as a thing, we uh, so this is on itch.io. We buy this typically little peek behind the curtains. We don't buy games for Abject Suffering. Abject Suffering is a lark and we may not talk about the games. Mm-hmm. So like, even if it is something that like, it would be ethical to buy, if we're not even really going to mention it, like mm-hmm. I will just emulate anything yeah. I can. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is a pay what you want. And I toss this guy a buck. Yeah. I was like, that's a good amount for a joke. Uh huh. You know, <laughs> like this is funny. Yeah. Uh, uh, it's funny, funny thing for you to do. And they did it perfectly. Uh huh. It, it looks just like it. Um, you know, so i yeah. respect it <laughs> so uh californication video it's the band members of the red hot chili peppers running around in dreamcast like games there are like specific homages uh, kind of going on here there's like a crazy taxi uh, taxi section or whatever uh but like the the events in the in the in the game it kind of k- kind of resemble what they're talking about in the uh, in, in in the song and like the goal of each kinda. of these games kind of yeah. um yeah the uh the the, the goal of each of these games you know or in the video they're they're all trying to collect these asterisks this red hot yeah. chili pepper the red hot chili pepper's asshole yes like the big red balloon knot that represents <laughs> the peps <laughs> yeah uh has, has facebook started advertising something called hole serum to you <laughs> <laughs> that's like it's literally for your butthole and it's like all the ads are just balloon knots like literal <laughs> balloon knots and it's like makes your balloon knot look better Oh my god, the youngs have such technology. Are they are they, are, are they literally just trying to like l- 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 bring back asshole bleaching? Is that what that is? It's, it's it's not quite a bleach, but I think the idea is it's it's bringing up it, asshole uh you, you know, maintenance and like I'm going to apply creams and unguents to this. To, does it yeah, does it restore the luster and sheen? <laughs> I don't know. Or it like re-virginifies your asshole. Like it's one of those texts. I don't, I don't know what it does, but yeah. I, I'm constantly seeing advertisements for it. And I don't know. It's like one of those things where everyone's like, oh, you know, the, I swear I was talking about succession. And then it, it showed me a coffee cup for succession. These things are listening. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, this isn't listening to me. Mm-hmm. I, I, I've never expressed interest in like that. <laughs> I use soap and water. I'm a, I'm a soap and water guy. Yeah. Hands down. Uh huh. You know? Yeah. Yeah. No, I don't. I, I do not need patent medicines. No. Uh, yeah. No snake oil going up there. No. You know? No. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's safe to say I have not. Um, okay. based on my reaction. Uh, anyway. Yeah. yeah. It, it's called whole serum, which I don't mm. like euphemisms for, uh, private parts. Yeah. Are getting so much more cruder. Like whole is really big right now. Just as an all purpose. <sighs> you know? Yeah. I mean, we, get, get Gary back around the time this music video came out. We did we did have an album by Limp Bizkit called uh, that that the, the chocolate starfish and the hot dog flavored water. Yes, which is also gross. Yes, but it, it's moving back into that zone. I feel like okay. Like the thing about Hole is, uh-huh. I think I like it because it's gender neutral. Uh huh. Right. The other thing I keep seeing, and I, I you know, this probably is period to my interest, is uh, vaginas. Being called fucking roast beef sandwiches. Have you seen oh, this? Oh no, I have not. Yeah, right. It's fucking incredible. Yeah, that's. Like I'll, um, I'll be scrolling through Facebook and it'll show me a reel and be like, guys say they don't like roast beef sandwiches, but they do, and it will just be full up fucking labia on the timeline huh. on Facebook. Facebook, the thing where like racist uncles complain about gas prices. Yeah, I mean, was there at least a minion in there? 
No. <laughs> like, well, it wasn't, I, it I wasn't crowding? Deep. There might have been, been a minion deeper in. I couldn't go because it was a video, but eventually we'll have that technology where I can Californicate yeah. my way into the screen and, and dig around. <laughs> but the, uh, and MPEG, but the M stands for minion. <laughs> for, 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 for MPEG. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> M- yeah. yeah. No, um, that's uh, that's terrible. It's like that must be like a re- like a reclamation thing because that was a big. Uh, it was I, insult. So, yeah, it, it was just insult. Yeah, yeah. I, I, or it was an incel insult. Uh, yeah. Was a you know, was a deal, huh? Yeah, that's unpleasant. But it's 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 getting reclaimed by at least some people. I'm not trying to say what the youth are actually doing. I'm right. just saying what I saw on Facebook Reels. Right. But huh? Yeah. Anyway, euphemisms. You're you're, you're going around collecting the the uh, the 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 RHCP asshole. Um, yes. and that is the, that, that is the same in this game. Uh, this is seven yep. mini games and broadly that's the goal. Yep. Uh, you go through them. If you, uh, complete them, if you get all the, the assholes, you get to go to the next one or you can just do level select if you just want to check them out. Yeah. Cause none of them are like good games. No. You know, not even a little bit, but they don't have to be because they're just recreating the Californication video. <laughs> um, you know, th- I, I find this to be one of like, I don't like Red Hot Chili Peppers, mm-hmm. you know, like, a, you know, surprise knowing, surprising no one. I think this is one of the more beautiful things a video game can do. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, I, I think this is just very sweet. Yeah. Uh, and, and just, yeah, I, I love this. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, I, no. I, I, yeah. I'm glad. Uh, th- this made me very happy. I'm glad you said that because I feel the exact same thing. I felt that yeah. when I was there is like, I, I'm I'm really glad we have video games and specifically yeah. like a, a a place for this, right? Yep. Made me feel very tender. It's a great great use case for itch. Mm-hmm. You know this kind of thing. Yeah, like you can do all kinds of things uh, on itch, not just pornographic visual novels. <laughs> and this kind of shows that that's true. <laughs> you know, like yeah. Uh, um, but they, uh, you know, they, they, they take some of the scenarios and in, in, in the, in the video, like a lot of it is just, you know, these guys shirtless are running around in situations. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, it, and it's, it's only kind of these guys, like you just do character selecting, get their stats. Mm-hmm. There's a wide roster of this. <laughs> well, they, ex- uh, they, they expanded. It was DLC to add other people who have been in red hot chili peppers. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> if you want to play the ghost of, uh. Whatever his head. <laughs> yeah. For, um, yeah. No. <laughs> or if you want uh, to go and around, run around as Dave Navarro. <laughs> yeah. Who, who doesn't? The uh, That thing in the Catatonics Youth videos where Dave Navarro has the gigantic wall size thing of the, the guy being executed <laughs> in Vietnam. Where he's like, yeah, this is... Uh, this is a pretty powerful image of a guy about to get killed. Um, <laughs> fucking idiot. <laughs> uh, he's he's our dark poet. Uh, <laughs> yeah, one, one of my favorite American dad jokes is Francine just just bodying Dave Navarro, saying like, "We get it, you know Carson Daly." <laughs> <laughs> oh god! Um, but they, you get their stats. You get to choose. They all have strength, stamina, agility, charisma, and rhythm. Mm-hmm. But then they have their primary instrument yes. as a stat. Uh, and the stats are not portrayed reasonably. This is the same way they're portrayed in the uh, the video. Yes. Of like somebody who kind of knows video games because mm-hmm. some of these resemble genres. Video games have meters. Also, yeah. Yeah. You know, but your vocals are 20 comma zero <laughs> you know like that doesn't make it's, or, a, it's a cartesian point? coordinate yeah <laughs> yeah it's, it's, like you had to graph graph the vocals of anthony <laughs> on, a, on a thing but yeah you run around mm-hmm. uh you know you walk back and forth yeah uh, <laughs> they go and left this. and right yeah yeah that's um, basically it yeah like there's a little metal there's like a metal gear scene uh or uh, like a metal yep. gear thing where you're going around trying to collect these in a in a forest like avoiding loggers uh, like mm-hmm. they're, uh, they're, 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 like you do uh, in California. Psycho. Yeah. Like you do. Yep. Yeah. Uh, there, there's a very fun maze chase with these yep. boulders rolling back and forth. A forest maze chase. Uh, there's kind of like flappy bird without the mechanic, mm-hmm. um, where you just fly up and down buildings. Mm-hmm. Uh, On dragon things. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there is a crash bandicoot mm-hmm. being chased by a school bus. Um, a little racing game, uh, a, and a snowboarding game. Yes. Yeah. Um, all of which control pretty bad. <laughs> uh, you know, it's fine. Mm-hmm. Like, a, you know, it, it's, it doesn't need to. This does, what yeah, it, it do, absolutely does, but it has to. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the, uh, and this, you know, of course I, I download the, the press kit, uh, for this. <laughs> oh God. You know? I didn't see the uh, press just, kit. <laughs> yeah. There, there's a, there's a press kit just in case, uh, and you can learn about what happened with this and learn a lot about, 
uh, Californication. <laughs> you know, um, the people who made the video for Californication were inspired by Crazy Taxi. Mm-hmm. You know, very sweet. Uh, and uh, just basically, this guy who decided to make the the game did this out of demand. Mm-hmm. Like people have constantly been expressing on social media that they wish they could play the game. Yeah. You know, uh, very sweet. Uh, it was a small challenge under two days, but people were really into it. Mm-hmm. So we decided to make it better and make each game have its own mechanics as yeah. opposed to being just basically the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's, it, it's great. Uh, I'm going to call out their, their username on, uh, on, on itch. Uh, it's, a uh, com- commando G dev command dog dev, something like that. Mm. They've got a bunch of, a bunch of other stuff, including, uh, a game called Kilby. A mature rated yeah. version of your favorite pink monster. <laughs> Ooh, like that. Yeah. No. Uh, I, we both in the green room mm-hmm. were like, let's learn about Californication. <laughs> uh, and we went to Genius. <laughs> but we, regret to, <laughs> we regret to inform people the Genius is down. Genius is down. <laughs> um, Everybody, we've prepared for this. Please go and yep. get your kits. Yep. Uh, <laughs> the darkest day has come. So we can't figure out exactly what Anthony Kiedis meant when he talked about a teenage bride with a baby inside getting high on information yeah. and how that's a critique of California. Hey, 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 Gary, did you know that the teenage bride with the baby inside getting high on information, that is Danny California? She would get her own oh. song. <laughs> yeah. It's an extended universe. It's like <laughs> what the Red, what the Guns N' Roses did with Shackler. <laughs> um, the, uh, but I found uh, on IMDb some trivia Ooh. Uh, for the song. Uh, let me lay out this trivia fact on okay. you. The song begins in A minor with Frusciante picking the chords to A minor and F for 12 measures before picking the chords C, G, F, D minor, then going back and picks A minor and F for eight more measures before picking C, G, F, D minor again. That is technically that's the kind of tri- trivia. That's, trivia. Also, that's the kind of thing you'd be asked at a trivia night. That doesn't belong on IMDb. It belongs on Ultimate Guitar. <laughs> Yeah, it, it's it's just it's it's bad tab. Uh huh. For it, yeah. Um, oh yeah. god, that is so great. Any other trivia? Um, you know, it's mostly about the dark side of Hollywood. Okay, all right. You know, uh, the uh, John Frusciante exclusively recorded the song in other side with a vintage Gretsch White Falcon hollow body electric guitar. It's a it's a pretty good guitar. I was watching that oh, video and I was yeah. like, I want that guitar. <laughs> I'm sure it's a it's, I'm sure it's a great guitar. Yeah. The, uh, I hate what he does with it, uh-huh. but I, I'm sure it's a fine guitar. <laughs> like the, uh, yeah. And then all the rest of the stuff is just, this is a popular Red Hot Chili Peppers song. They right. A lot. right. Dark, dark side yeah. of Hollywood is a weird, is a weird way to put it because like, this is not just, it's not Hollywood. It is like very specifically like Western cultural hegemony kind of, you know, kind sure. of stuff. Yeah. I mean, there, there's Hollywood specific things in it. Oh yeah. You know, uh, there's, uh, what is it? Um, the the moon landing line. Yeah, space may be the final frontier, but it's made in a Hollywood basement. A Hollywood basement. Yeah. yeah. I had a very big uh, terrible band doesn't listen. Oh, genius is back up. Oh shit! Terrible band doesn't listen to their uh, influences thing. Uh huh. Um. So, uh, space may be the final frontier, but it's made in a Hollywood basement. And Cobain, can you hear the spheres singing songs off station to station? Please. Uh, Alderaan's not far away. It's Californication. Mm-hmm. According to Genius, this is about Kurt Cobain. Uh, singing the man who sold the world mm-hmm. on uh, MTV Unplugged. That motherfucker's not on station to station. This <laughs> hey, is literally just That's the only earlier. David Bowie album that rhymes with Californication. You uh, fucking moron. Uh huh. Like it made me very mad. <laughs> like <laughs> it's like, hey, hey, man, uh, man who sold the world was way earlier than that. Way, way Come earlier. On. Station to station is really weird. It only has six songs on it. Yeah, it's like super weird. And station to station is like a. a 11 minute long Coke ad anthem <laughs> from the perspective of a white supremacist. Like it's not, it has nothing to do with that shit. No. Like it's just, you have a rhyming dictionary, Anthony Kiedis. Kiedis. You're a hack. K- Kiedis, yeah. I need you to stop. <laughs> Anthony Kiedis with a homegrown fetus hanging out on location. I just, I, I, <laughs> when Genius was down, I just opened up tabs with the lyrics for every song because oh. like, you know, I, I did, you know, because I have nostalgia on this, like mm-hmm. there are songs on this album that I will go to bat for. I think that other side is actually a very good song. 
Okay. Okay. Um, you know, uh, just uh, like a, a song about depravity. You're just uh, the, the depths of drug addiction, right? Sure. Uh, the, I, I, I've been waiting for Anthony Kiedis to write a song about that. I know it's the be- it's cool. the best uh, it's it's the best version of that. I also think that the like the music and the the, the, the tune, the video, yeah, you is like real good too. I just like that yeah, song. That, I just like that yeah, song. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I'm, not, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna jump down your throat. Yeah, scar for, tissue's like, fine. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, me, me and the band make fun of scar tissue a lot. Okay, I think scar tissue is very fun, mm-hmm. like very funny. Because <laughs> he, I mean, just it's just the guy. Just how, he, yeah. how he sings. Yeah, you know, but yeah. I, it's, so, w- like when I am rounding up on a lot of this, I am mostly just thinking about like the like the tune, other like sure. stuff that is not Anthony Kiedis's performance. My mind is is like correcting. It's like listening to the karaoke version of these songs. Yeah, there there are not. Uh, hopeless melodies yeah, in yeah. Red Hot Chili Pepper songs. For me, like personally, the the lyrics, mm-hmm. no, obviously, the delivery. Obviously. Uh, and then the, the the entire rhythm section can go fuck itself as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> yeah. Like the, even this song where it's like, you know, it starts off with those chords and then the drums going, Ba-da! You know, everything is just real. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's too, it's, it's really like, you know, the funky monks of, yeah. of California rock funk. Yeah. Uh, just fucking kill me with this shit. I, I, I would, I would kill this rhythm section. I, I, I would I, eject it into space. I will say though, that physically these are fun to play. Oh, sure. On drum, like, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm sure. You yeah, know, like yeah. they're complicated drum parts, but it, it, it just, it's, yeah, it's not my yeah, yeah. Oh. Um, yeah. So, uh, did, were, were you aware because you're over in the better place? Were you aware of Californication becoming viral recently? No. Okay. Uh, so TikTok. That's a, that's a reference to Blue Sky. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Just in case anybody didn't know what that meant. Yes. Um, uh, so uh, Californication went viral on TikTok because there is no cultural memory. Specifically, yes. somebody uh, pointed out like, hey, isn't it spooky how much the Red Hot Chili Peppers predicted? And uh, they were pulling lines from the song, you know, specifically, oh, psychic spies from China. You know, how could they have predicted uh, that, that, that there would be inter- international attention, uh, you know, that, that there would be international tension uh, from, you know, from China? Uh, Little girl from Sweden. Um, how about somebody named Greta Thunberg? Oh, <laughs> uh, I hate that. Pay your surgeon very well <laughs> to break the spell of aging. Ever notice how all influencers look the same? <laughs> That, this, this is that's mur- this is murder. That's murder. This is murderous. That's awful. Yeah. Really? Uh huh. Oh, you know what? Can if we can we hurry up the TikTok ban? Is there something we can do to make that faster? I know that it's not good. Yeah. yeah. And it, but it's only not good because you can't undo anything. Right. Yeah. Like if we lived in a world where you could just literally erase something from existence, mm-hmm. I'd be pretty in favor yeah. of it. Yeah. It's. I mean, you know? it's it's also not good because like Congress is very specifically citing information about Gaza getting out. Yeah. 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 Like they're doing it for bad reasons. <laughs> yes. I'm just saying. Like I saw like a, a blue sky. I was mm-hmm. going to say tweet because I don't care about updating my terminology yeah, yeah. i rested a bonfire that said that uh you know it's like tiktok shouldn't be illegal but it should be illegal for me to ever see them <laughs> and like i basically agree with that so I'll, I'll stick to my roast beef facebook reels thank you <laughs> please like, Lord. i'll look at i'll look at you know giant labia before i need to some horrible little kid yeah saying that cal the prophet <laughs> the, the, the prophet Ketus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, oh, his rhyming dictionary predicted things that would rhyme in our times. <laughs> <laughs> like, who would have known? Yeah. Fucking hack. Uh, who who, who uh, was it at karaoke a few years ago who got up and fucking broke out around the world when we, when yeah, we were there? Was, 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 a, that, was that uh, Sean? That yeah. couldn't have been Sean. That was Sean. Oh, was it? Okay. Sean did around the world and we all uh, flexed <laughs> until it eventually got to the the part, which is incredible. <laughs> like, just incredible. It's This is one of these bands where I feel like it reminds me, and I, th- I'm not going to go on a tangent about it, uh-huh. but uh, that song is to Red Hot Chili Peppers as quiet is to Hideo Kojima mm-hmm. in that they're both things I don't like. And I have one absolutely indefensible thing that I am very grateful to be able to point to whenever I want. To. <laughs> yes. You know, like I get somebody be like, well, you know, some of their songs are real good. I'm like, yeah, but they did the Ching Chong racist thing. Yeah. And it was a, a major hit single. And like, you probably sing along to it. So mm-hmm. we're, we're on high ground, <laughs> you know, <laughs> and then like people are like, oh no, his game's really interesting. I'm like, yeah, but you know, he does think that you have to breathe through your clothes as an excuse to see this woman naked. Yeah. So, yeah. Sexist. Vagina bomb. <laughs> uh, <and then laughs> <I just> get... <laughs> like, 
<laughs> yeah. yeah, no, just say uh, Ko- Kojima and Kitas both begin yeah, with a K. K. Oh, mm. Can you imagine if they met? Oh, man. The I bet you, I bet you Kojima fucking loves him. Bob like, Rob can you Blake. imagine any scenario in which Kojima didn't meet him and get like really weirdly darkly fascinated with him and then mm-hmm. scan him? Oh, yeah. No, <laughs> it's going you know? to add him to his menagerie. <laughs> yeah. A dino bomb and a man named Tom. <laughs> 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 oh god come back baby because i'd like to say i've been around the world back from bombay foxhole love pie in your face living in and out of a big fat suitcase <laughs> <laughs> big <fat> suitcase. <laughs> uh, the uh the g- little girls from sweden dream of silver screen quotation uh-huh in this that's about that's not about greta thunberg no it's not it's just there happens to be a little girl from sweden just, yeah Oh, that's irritating. Um, God, I, I hate I hate <laughs> people cooking. Um, you know? uh, how about how about here from? Uh, I'm just gonna do, I'm gonna give you two verses from Get on Top. Sure. Um, gorilla, Contilla, Sammy D, and the <laughs> Salmonella. Come with me, cause I'm an ass killer. You're ill, but I'm illa. I'm a linger on your block and give the finger to a cop and pick a lock before I knock and set you up to get on top. Hey, man. Hey. Oh, man. Hey, 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 Anthony. Hey, Tony. Hey, how are you going, Tone? <laughs> oh. I, so as somebody who, like, I, you know, I'm acting like a real asshole about music right now. I'm being a music mm-hmm. snob. Yeah. But uh, when I was, you know, early 90s, uh-huh. right? Uh, Blood Sugar Sex Magic. All my friends liked it. I had that record. Mm-hmm. I listened to it. Yeah. You know, there are many records I listened to because my friend did. So my cringy Red Hot Chili Peppers is more of the Sir Psycho Sexy yes. yeah. era of that. Uh, track 16 on Blood Sugar Sex Magic <laughs> uh, here. And that is the one with the lady cop. Yeah. Uh, and this, in case anyone doesn't know this, we'll do some like some poetry here. Oh, fuck. Sir Psycho Sexy um, got- is rough stuff, man. <laughs> I, 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 this is, if you like this band, this is what you're associated with. Yeah. Um, the, uh, I got stopped by a lady cop in my automobile. She said, get out and spread your legs. And then she tried to cop a feel. The cop, she was dressed in blue. Was she pretty? Boy, I'm telling you. She stuck my butt with her big black stick. I said, what's up? Now suck my dick. Like a <sighs> ram getting ready to jam the lamb. Mm. She whimpered just a little when she felt my hand on her crotch. So very warm. I could feel her getting wet through her uniform. Propping her up on the black and white, unzipped and slipped. Ooh, that's tight. I swatted her like no SWAT team can. <laughs> Turned Turn. a cherry pie right into jam. <sighs> Good Lord! <laughs> no! You're so psycho sexy, don't do it. Please don't. Yeah. Please don't. There, uh, uh, there's a devil in my dick and some demons in my semen. <laughs> semen, yeah. Oh, demons fuck. in my semen are is that's a and, classic and, right and, there and what's He's real for that what's so funny is like you know californication it's it, it, it's it's kind of their turn toward like a like a softer sound like people people got off uh, go, you know a lot of a lot more people got on than got off the the chili peppers train uh with yeah. with, with, uh, with californication you know like this yeah. this was their adult contemporary crossover kind of thing is their radio their big mainstream thing because yeah. like mainstream radio had changed yes like we weren't going to to put you know, give it away on the radio anymore. Right. A song where whenever the opening riff of that comes out, I get immediately depressed. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and I'm just like, ah, oh, I'm in for a horrible little time here. Uh, you know, but then they, they decided to, it's basically what Filter did, but in macrocosm. Yes. You like Filter had kind of more respectable hardcore stuff. And then they did Airplane or whatever mm-hmm. and just like made a play for alternative radio. Yeah. And the, the Chili Peps did that just basically as well. Yes. Um, uh, just over a longer period of time. But it's very funny because at least in their in their album tracks, never really hit the singles as far as I could tell. I stopped paying attention after they released an album called Stadium Arcadium. I was not sure. I was not there for that. Is that the one that has roller coaster? I forget, maybe. Yeah. It was a it was and, a double album. I don't and, and fuck. Um yeah. but but uh, like in their album tracks, they're still trying to do a little bit of that like Sir Psycho Sexy kind of heat, you know? Yeah. So like they've got like they've got soft stuff like Savior or this velvet glove or whatever on there. But they also have purple stain. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, and like this this is I I love pussy more than most uh-huh i feel comfortable saying you know i think both you know, of us on the record yeah, hey pussy's yeah, pretty good pussy's great i just <sighs> the idea of 
Give me something that I was thinking about recently because I've been on this uh, renewed catatonic youths. Thing. Yes, if you don't know what that is, it's an Instagram and social media thing. They find musicians basically and make fun of them, mm-hmm. which is all you know. What we do at band practice, other than the, play music, the, is the, make fun of '90s bands. The compilation that you showed me of just yes. all of these different bands and performers, and you know, just uh, just people performing on YouTube, very specifically singing the line from Jack and Diane, yeah. sucking on a chili dog with, with with a thousand different cadences, cadences, uh. <laughs> sucking on a chili dog, because <laughs> it, and it's it's funny because like one, tons of people are covering that awful song. Mm-hmm. Two. Uh, there's just fun in the repetition. Three, why did he write it like that? <laughs> like, why on earth did he put that in there? Why would he admit yeah. that? But, but my point being about Loving Pussy mm-hmm. is that, uh, or, and Cat Talk to Youths, is that one thing about Modridge, the band that I'm in, uh, in today's dollars out now on Bandcamp, um, the, uh, we don't have stage presence. Mm-hmm. Like, we don't do anything. Right. You know, and I can understand people not liking that and wanting you to kind of like groove and stuff. Yeah. But to me, there is a continuum between like getting a little bit into the stage presence, mm-hmm. turning into a cantonic youth person, <laughs> and then being so over overcome by dick energy that you write a line like creamy, creamy beaver hotter than a fever. <laughs> I'm given because she's the receiver. I won't, I don't hang up until I please her. And then genius has to say things like he's referring to a phenomenon when a highly aroused woman's vagina can secrete a viscous mucus like lubricant <laughs> while also radiating a small but noticeable amount of warmth enough to be felt in the back of your hand for a few inches away. Jesus Christ. We have to get the genius on the case. Yeah, we need to get to the explain genius. explain what he's talking about. Yeah, 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 Gary, some people have never gotten a pussy wet, okay? <laughs> I, I, under- I understand that. And they talk about, they're conservative commentators. They talk about it on Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> This is like, I've yet to meet a heterosexual woman who enthusiastically participates in sex. Like, cool, Senator. Fuck. Like, um, yeah. Cool, Ben Shapiro. Oh, women get wet? Okay. They're highly unlikely. Yeah, that's uh, that's medically know. inadvisable. Uh, yeah. Uh, but. You know, but it's just, I, I just see all of that kind of, that level of performance. For me, it's not a dose makes the poison. Mm-hmm. It's a slippery slope where as soon as you start kind of like shaking your hips, uh-huh. you turn to Mick Jagger. Then you turn to Cat Talk Youth. Then you turn to Anthony Kiedis. Yes. It, One just leads to another. It, it, it gets right there. All subtlety goes away. Yes. Like you are just singing about it directly. Um, I feel no. like I've read these to you before, but I really need you. I really <laughs> need you to listen to the first verse of Purple Stain. Do to, it. To finger paint is not a sin. I put my middle finger in. Your monthly blood is what I'm in. I'm in your house. Now let me spin. <laughs> Are you seeing that like a goblin <laughs> or like a, a series of like leprechauns who are yeah, chanting that, about how you've entered their land? That 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 <laughs> that, 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 that is almost exactly what he does. Is the that, is, is the that, is the thing two finger paint is not us? Yeah. <laughs> what is, what is this fucker cooking? Like <laughs> so, so like it is, you know, doing sex stuff. While a lady is on her period, there's Some, nothing wrong with that. Sometimes, sometimes, it, you know, you know, sometimes needs bust. Sometimes, and sometimes, then also, yeah. sometimes people just don't mind. Yeah. Sometimes people do mind. All that stuff's fine. Any yes. attitude you have about that is fine. I'm not trying to pathologize anything like that. Yes. Finger painting with menstrual blood is a different thing altogether. That's yes. A24 shit. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, that's awful. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know, and again, two consenting adults who are into it. Yeah. Sure. Mm-hmm. But you, when you make it, somebody singing a song, like when you sing a song, there's a certain level of like the specificity that is universal is mm-hmm. what you want. You want to talk about a specific experience to yourself that other people can then reflect and apply their own experiences to and be like, I may not, you know, we're all different. I may not have had that exact thing, same thing happen, mm-hmm. but I know that exact feeling. And, you know, l- lest you think I am being reductive about the broader meaning of this song. Of pit finger paint. Yeah. <laughs> let, me, let me hit you with another yeah. verse that is one, Please. two, three. It's four verses later. Um, Why are there so many verses? <laughs> oh, G- Gary, it is wild. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, up to my ass and alligators, just get it on with the alligator haters. Did what you did, did what you said. What's the point, yo? What's the spread? <laughs> oh my God. What are the alligator? What is he talking about the alligators? The alligators are never mentioned again. Oh, uh, what does genius have to say about the alligators? Does it explain that that's like a um, specifically California euphemism for like <laughs> yeah, just, tough crotch? Yeah, just a, you know, sometimes a crotch gets a little scaly, you know? Yeah. Uh, well, let me see what the geniuses say. Um, good lord, um, uh, alligator. 
gators. Nope, there's no there there is nothing uh there there is nothing yeah, it in. It rhymed. Yes, it rhymed. Yeah, it rhymed that's, that's what I did. It. Um, Python yeah. power straight from Monty, capital M. Celluloid loves got a John Frushanti. Spread your head <laughs> and spread the blanket. She's too free and I'm the patient. Uh, <laughs> she provides the pigment. To, to just like, wor- work your band name, your bandmate into a rhyme. Yeah. It just, the, the rhyming dictionary levels on this guy are fucking incredible. Yeah. Like, again, you know, I bring it up all the time. Mm-hmm. Everyone needs to go to our chp2014.com yes. and listen to John Daly of Fallout, of uh-huh. Fallout uh, <laughs> doing the absolute perfect send up oh, of yeah. Red Hot Chili Peppers. Yeah. You uh, know, and I, I know Red Hot Chili Pepper got shooters, right? I know, sure. I know the shooters yeah. are out there. You know, yeah. I just, I, 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 don't, I don't know, man. <laughs> I, I feel like we're making our case yes. for why, at least why we don't like it. Uh huh. If you hear all this stuff and you're like, know that they're fucking sick, actually, all those things are good. Okay. That's just the way we disagree. Yeah. We're just different. You know, that's fine. Yeah. Like that, that there are fundamental differences and that's the thing that's beautiful about the world and especially about California <laughs> is that it's all kinds of different people. Yeah. Uh, so if like you listen to Sir Psycho Sex, you're like, you know what? This man's cooking. Mm-hmm. This is awesome. This is a tribute to having sex with cops on the road. Mm-hmm. I think that's beautiful and freeing. Uh, that's cool. <laughs> you know, just, what? Uh, you know, this is this, this 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 is a it is Sir Psycho Sexy was a uh, just a real turning point, a touchstone for the demon semen movement. Yes, <laughs> they no longer exactly. have to suffer in silence; they have to suffer in god awful noise. <laughs> well, and it's also a thing too where it's just an age thing as well. Oh yeah, like you know, uh, people who are into that who are just like, yeah, man, demon semen, that's cool. Might be the same people who are just like texting each other about roast beef sandwiches. Maybe you but- know, like going into th- these really deep. You know, people, people get off on things like crazy things, Yeah, you know, and some people get off on other people being very public uh, about the crazy things they get off on. Yeah. But like an age thing, Gary, because I mean, Blood Sugar Sex Magic is a, is a 33 year old album. I, you know what? (laughs) You're right. (laughs) uh, But maybe they were prophets. They're like, everyone's going to be disgusting and talk about menstrual blood and roast beef sandwiches in the future. We're making music for the, for the 2020s. Yeah. You know, (laughs) really forward looking. Yeah. Uh, Yeah. Uh, Yeah. Anywho. Anywho. Uh, what should people do if they like this show? If people like the show, they can go to patreon.com slash TV and support us. Uh, get two bonus episodes uh, per month and whole bonus shows. Bonus episodes to watch out for fireballs. Uh, the $5 tier, we think, is an exceptional value. Yeah. And the $10 tier is also has some good stuff, mm-hmm. including Adaptation Decay, a show we don't talk about that much, but we think is really good. Mm-hmm. Here's the thing I thought of this week. You know what we never talk about? Uh, at $5, you get a bonus dispatch. You do. Every quarter. Yeah, uh, those are real fun to do. Mm-hmm. We're recording one this week. It's only quarterly, but we wanted to add a little extra value, mm-hmm. and we never mention it. Yeah. So it's just another thing you get. Yeah, more uh, more Q, Q&A stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we appreciate you. Uh, big thanks uh, to anybody who has already patronized us. If you cannot, we understand. Please mm-hmm. leave us ratings and reviews. Tell your friends. Post about us online. All those things really help. Mm-hmm. And join us in thanking our producer, Gwen. Thank you, Gwen. No. no. And uh, what should they do until next time? Until next time, uh, call for more outros because I get way less outros than you do intros, Gary. I don't know why that is. I did, did you put it up on Patreon? Yeah. I put mine up on Patreon. This I put, time my, I put mine up on much. Patreon. It's up there. I think I think maybe because intros and outros are interchangeable. Yeah. More or less. Uh, all of the heat goes to yours. Yeah. I did. Well, because I did do it first. Next time we do one. We'll just do one big thing. So just intros and outros. Yeah. Okay. And we'll just put welcome to abject suffering before all of them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There we go. And we'll just pull from a big common list. Yes. This has been abject suffering. Yeah. It, it, it can, it can totally, yeah, it can totally yeah. work either way. A yeah. little workshop and we're doing it on air. Yeah. A little bit. Uh, yeah. There. That could, that could totally yeah. solve our problem actually. Um, yeah. I think that's the, that's the move. It's, so. it's wild that it's taken us what, seven years to get that. <laughs> you know, we're, uh, we're, we're smart. We're all works smart in progress, folks. Gary. Yeah. <laughs>